Welcome back to another college football video in which today we are here in Death Valley at LSU. And this will be a SEC matchup between two top teams, the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Alabama will get the ball to start off the game. And here on third and five, Jalen Milrow completes the pass over the middle. And the stadium pulse meter was at a record high as this is ranked the toughest place in the country to play at. Here on second and four, Jalen Milrow quickly fires it over the middle to a slant for the first down as they take it up to the 46-yard line, and LSU isn't happy about that. Let's go take a look at the replay right there as that was a run pass option, and Milrow decided to pass for the first down on that play. Here on second and two, Milrow hands the ball off to the running back who finds space on the left-hand side and takes it all the way up to the LSU 40-yard line for a Alabama first down. And let's take a look at the replay right there as the space opened up on the left hand side and it took a minute for the LSU defense to catch up. Here on second and 11, Jalen Melrose is in the pocket. He tries to escape on the right hand side but will be chased down before he can get the ball off and he will be pushed back to the 49 yard line and this will make it third and 19 for the Crimson Tide. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as that was the senior left edge, Savion Jones, with the sack on the play. He does a great job to break away from the lineman and get straight to the quarterback as he tried to escape out of the pocket. Alabama punted the ball after that play and here on second and one, Nussmeyer completes the pass off to the running back number 27, who takes it up to the 38-yard line and gets LSU a fresh set of downs. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Nussmeyer quickly fires it out to the flat where no one was near the running back before he got that first down marker. Here on third and six, Nussmeyer is in the pocket as he quickly airs one out towards the middle to his tight end for the completion as they get up to the Alabama 45-yard line. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, Nussmeyer's in the pocket and he is swarmed by the Alabama defender number 35 on the play as this will make it second and 17 for the Tigers back at the 48 yard line and that was the sophomore Jeremiah Alexander that comes up with the sack that gets through the running back and straight to Nussmeyer. Here on third and six Nussmeyer quickly airs one out towards the left hand side into a tight window but the ball is dropped for an incompletion by the receiver on the play and LSU will now punt the ball back to Alabama and Jalen Milrose offense with a minute 11 left here in the first half. With three seconds remaining here in the first half this will be the last play as they hand the ball off to the running back we are going to be tied up at zero here at the end of the first half and let's take a look at the player spotlight right now it is on the Crimson Tide defense as they have only allowed 39 yards here in the first half. LSU will get the ball to start off the second half, and here on second and nine, Nussmeyer completes it towards the left side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to number zero on the play as he takes it up to the 28-yard line and gets an LSU first down. And look at how Nussmeyer recognized the pressure and fired it quickly to his receiver for the first down completion. Here on third and three, Nussmeyer hands it off to the running back who takes it up the middle and gets to the 45-yard line for an LSU first down. Here on third and one, Nussmeyer hands the ball off to the running back who finds space on the left-hand side and gets to the 44-yard line for an LSU first down. And let's go take a look at the replay right here as it was perfectly blocked and it wasn't until the safety came up that could make the tackle after the first down gain. Here on third and one, Nussmeyer hands the ball off to the running back who takes it up the middle, breaks the tackle, and takes it to the 26-yard line of Alabama as the third quarter will come 
to a close. We are all tied up at zero, but it looks like LSU is in field goal range at this moment. And here are the stats so far from three quarters as we are getting ready to go for the fourth. Nussmeyer quickly gets his teammates back onto the line as here on first and 10, Nussmeyer snaps the ball, has a play action pass, and works the right side of the field to the crossing receiver number two on the play as he gets up to the three yard line of Alabama to set up LSU with a first and goal. And let's go take a look at the replay right here as that was the senior wide receiver, Kyron Lacey, with the reception. And that was a 23 yard catch on the play. And he does a great job to use his speed to get out front of the defender and cut up field for the first and goal for LSU. Nussmeyer quickly gets out of the break, out of the huddle, and gets the line set. As here on first and goal, Nussmeyer will snap the ball, hand it off to the running back, who navigates his through the bodies out in front of goal, but makes his way forward to it towards the right side of the field as he rocks the baby to celebrate. And LSU will put up the first points of the game, taking a 7-0 lead over Alabama, with 3.28 left in the fourth quarter. And the senior Josh Williams with a carry right there follows his blockers but navigates his way around him to find the open space to get into the end zone. Great job by number 27 on the play. Here on third and 10, Jalen Milrow fires it over the middle to his tight end number 81 on the play as we hit the two minute warning right here. Here on third and two, Milrow is stepping back in the pocket as he fires it over the middle to his receiver, number five on the play, who cuts inside the five-yard line and up to the LSU three-yard line for a first and goal. And the mascot celebrates after that huge gain. Let's take a look at the replay right there as number five does a great job to get miles ahead of the defender to open up the space down the middle. Here on second angle, Mel Ropes in the pocket as he feels the pressure. He rolls out to his left and takes it himself for the touchdown. And we are going to be all tied up at seven apiece as Mel Rowe rocks the baby right back to LSU. We are all tied up at seven apiece with a minute and nine seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as that was a great job by the junior Jalen Milrow to sense the pressure and use his feet to get into the end zone. Here on second and two, Nussmeyer airs one out towards the left side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to his receiver number two on the play as the Tigers get a first down at the 36-yard line. Here on third and inches, Nussmeyer has time in the pocket as he airs it over the middle to his tight end for the completion as they get into Alabama territory at the 40-yard line. Here on first and 15, Nussmeyer snaps the ball, has time in the pocket as he checks it down to the running back who gets behind a defender and takes it inside the 30 right around the 26-yard line with 8 seconds remaining. And the last timeout will be used by LSU as they set up into field goal range, ready to take the lead with a couple seconds remaining. But Alabama take their second timeout, trying to ice the kicker right here. So they send the field goal unit back onto the field. And let's take a look at what they do right here as the ball is snapped. The kick is up and it is good. And LSU will take a 10-7 lead over Alabama with a couple seconds remaining here in the first fourth quarter and that was perfectly executed by the LSU special teams unit on that play and LSU will get the kickoff into the field of play waiting for the return by the Alabama player and it took four seconds off the clock the entire remaining period and so just like that LSU will defeat Alabama 10 to 7 let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of college football and the NFL, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long.
Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.